The face of Gen Z Republicans is a nightmare. What is this? Is this Christian Walker? Hey, everyone. Oh, my God. Oh, you found a bunch. Herschel Walker is on Sun's cheerleading success. <laughs> Jesus Christ. When I talk to someone about, when I talk to Christian, it's not about me talking to him. It's about talking to others that think like him. Imagine if you weren't banned on LSF. It would have been f***ing awful. I'm glad I'm banned on LSF. What kind of question is that? It would have been so bad. There would have been like a million different f***ing clips about like, there would have been a million different f***ing clips about how I'm like bad and I did the bad thing or some shit. I wonder if people still like try to upload clips on purpose and then they get f***ing yeeted. Shouters don't seem to get that. Unfortunately, the outlier positions are the ones in this community, not Christians. Most important to reach people who share his views and to make people comfortable. Yeah. It's just like, I mean, people know that this isn't, people know that this is not a safe space. It's just not. You can't have a safe space if you want to educate people. Okay. It's just not how that works. As the trans woman, I totally understand debates are always for the onlookers, but it makes it really difficult to stomach a conversation when one person is so bad faith. I appreciate you standing up for us. I know that trans rights are political debate and will remain so. And it's just heartbreaking that it is. Thank you. Yeah. Just the ironic conservative take you gave early on will pop off. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, you and Felix had two bro moments when you talked about Floyd and Aubrey. Yeah, that was that was definitely like, why was I banned off LSF? I wanted to. Countless threads on how you were a piece of shit for having him on and then the comments would be joking about how base Christian is. Oh yeah, for sure. There are probably some conservatives in here waiting for you to get owned and then maybe actually learn something. No, I don't think so. Anyway, it's just like, it's not, I mean, it, I hope this was informative for everybody, but like, like I've always said, you're never going to get a, a fully safe space here, okay? It's not gonna happen. Um, here, let's watch this. When my brother and I just dropped a new EP with songs that sound like this. Blue-blooded American. And listen, I know what you're thinking. What's so scary about an American? And when did you become so patriotic? That's well, I'll funny. tell you. I have a new coach who's been teaching me what being American's all about. And I- Hold on, I gotta pee, I'll be back. I've had a change of heart, okay? Is that so crazy to believe? That I've had a change of heart? Can guys like me not have changes of hearts? We're chain- We're changing hearts. Everything in my room is red, white, and blue now. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah! Huh? I'd like you to meet my new friend, Christian Walker. He's an American. What's not the love? Huh? He is a free speech radicalist, which is what I am now because I believe in the First Amendment. Ever heard of it? Hmm? Are you jealous? And he has a podcast called I Am Uncancelable, which I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, you know what? No, I am. I'm uncancelable. And um, <laughs> whatever. I'm back. I'm back to the old. The old room. Before we keep going, I got a P.O. box. I forgot to ever mention it on this channel. People have been sending me packages and I've been opening them up on twitch.tv slash Nick is not green. So if you want to send me a package, se send it here. Write that address down and send it here. First thing I want to bring up is one of his Instagram highlights. It's called Caramel. Some people say caramel, some people say caramel. It depends on where you are. Why do people get so upset when people like me, free speech radicalists, want to say words the way we want to say them? Had to get another coffee today because my coffee this morning sucked. Okay, <laughs> a little scared off the bat, but hey, I trust Christian. I trust what he's going to say. Not going to judge anybody. Let's keep it going. And lo and behold, I look in the window when I'm paying for my drink and a BLM mask is making my caramel macchiato liberal. Just screw the drink up, liberal. Just screw it up like you always do. Do his eyes look like they're like computer generated onto his face? They sort of look like he's a deep faked face where the eyes aren't really going anywhere. They're not really looking at anything specifically. You know what I'm saying? Also, what is this thing with people using very obvious filters on their face on Instagram. I don't think it's a bad thing if it's very subtle, but he looks like he's he's pasted a whole new face over the top of his. Can I test this on myself? I'm sure I'll look fairly normal. The, I don't have freckles. This is not how I look. It looks like I've been at the beach. Hold on. I got a caramel macchiato today and it freaking sucked. If I put my eyes like this, I- He's a big, he's a, he's a Christian Walker fan. He's, he's, uh, okay. You can't invite someone to your house and play videos of people trashing him when he leaves. Sus is First of all, I didn't even know this was just going to be about, this was your best stream in years. You more that adequately pushed back towards Christian. I thought you were too harsh towards the, on the kid. Christian is way more mainstream as trans views than chat. Can you, this is the longest I've watched you stream. Great all around. Okay. Here. First of all, no. Okay. Second of all, also no. Okay, I don't care. I don't want you to be in here. Or if you're going to be in here, I don't want you to say anything. Because 
I don't care about your perspective. If this is like, if you're, if you're in here for like debate content, I just don't care about your point of view. I don't want you to be here. <sighs> you said great stream like last five comments. Yeah. I don't want people to think that this past stream was a great stream and that there's going to be more streams like this. I don't like doing debates not because I can't do them, but because they are ultimately unproductive and the type of audience that it cultivates is incredibly annoying. Like it is the most unbearable. It's just, I would, I would rather never debate for the rest of my life. If that means I am never going to have people who love debates and watch debates come in. This was not even supposed to be a debate. This was supposed to just be fun memes. You know, that's why I was, uh, you know, just hanging out. Would you say the same thing about this is in a safe space if a chatter committed a hate crime towards me? I mean, I commit hate crimes against gray names every day. So if that's what you mean as a gray name, like then, yeah, it's going to happen. I also gulag uh, great names, gray names regularly. Don't make me execute you in public. Uh, obviously not like literally, but figuratively. I, have, I actually learned how to do the thing where one of your eyes goes in a different direction. Oh, what the? F Christian's getting his caramel macchiato and it sucks. And lo and behold, we have a liberal making the coffee. Le leftists can never get the caramel drizzle right on caramel macchiatos. They either don't put enough or if you ask for extra, they put so much you can't even drink the freaking drink. That's what I've been saying. I mean, this is like, this is a character, okay? This stuff is funny. I love this shit, okay? This is why Christian Walker is camp. This is why he's like, an, he's like a gay icon. This is why so many people love him, okay? Because to a certain degree, he's a self-aware demon, okay? He's self-aware. He knows where he's at. He knows what his position is. He knows where he's coming from. And that kind of stuff is funny. Like, that, that's hilarious. The, the character of Christian Walker is hilarious. I can't get enough of him. See, Nick is not green. Can't get enough of him either. The only time when it like became serious was when he actually had some takes that I was like, oh, that's fucked up. What? You should be careful. You know, a white sup in Christian sir said subscribe to PewDiePie. What? What? What does that mean? For a long time is that leftists can never get the caramel macchiato drizzle right. And that's just like a policy position that I've taken in my politics. If you're a leftist, you simply do not have the motor function possible to correctly do the caramel macchiato drizzle. And that's kind of how that works. When it comes to politics, some people care about, you know, what's going on in Afghanistan. Some people care about health care. Some people care about, you know, climate change. Not enough people are talking about how leftists can't do the caramel macchiato drizzle right. And that's kind of what's worrying me when it comes to our country and where we're headed. You know what? I've about had it, and I'm just gonna say the big elephant in the room. Don't say it. There's a huge work ethic difference between liberals and conservatives. Honestly, there's a huge work ethic difference between leftists and classical liberals and conservatives. Classical liberals and conservatives, happy to do their job, happy to earn, you know, mm. happy to do the work, yeah. just happy to have work and earn. Leftists just throwing crap together, think they're owed everything, entitlement. Do your job and get the Carmel drizzle right. Oh. Christian, as much as I'd love to agree with you, um, if you're going to go to Starbucks, a place where it costs $5 to get your caramel macchiato, and you have someone who's getting paid $9 an hour to make your caramel macchiato, you probably shouldn't complain if they mess it up a little bit and it's not so perfect for your perfect little filtered lips. Why is he looking at me like that? You can't go somewhere where the place doesn't give its workers enough money to actually put in the effort and then complain when they don't put in the effort. You're going to a Starbucks. You get Starbucks out of it. Just drink the coffee. And also, how do you know if that person's a classic liberal or a leftist? I don't think the BLM mask stops at classic liberalism. Christian has deduced that anyone who is a classic liberal or a conservative does not agree with the Black Lives Matter movement. And that, you heard it right from the caramel macchiato drinking horse's mouth. So as you can see, Christian Walker is a political, I don't want to say activist, because he'd probably be upset if you used that. What the f Radical Turkish professor schools unruly student meek Jewish colleague observes? What the f is this, dude? Complete range of head sizes on these three? <laughs> Someone said the Hasanavi industrial complex continues to grow. I mean, I did this for the memes. Like, this is a great memetic potential. You know what I mean? Like, you really need to check the tweets that came from this. 
Oh my god, this was trending. Christian Walker, internet personality. Christian Walker appears on content creator Hasanami's latest wish room. Cash app, thank you for the 69 gifted subs. Damn, bro. Cash app never gifts when I'm like, never expect the Christian Walker and Hassan to be in the same room. I leave my house get, to get boosted, check my phone to see Christian Walker's on the Hassan stream today. I'm looking to see if there's like anything. Were there memes? Holy fuck. There's a lot of memes. Jesus Christ, dude. Tuned into the Hassan Felix Christian Walker stream and Christian was the only one who knew who the Georgia Bulldogs were. I'm post left now. <laughs> I pray this on this moment. I would have ended this conversation with a punch in the face 30 minutes in. Then uh, I feel like a lot of people are having a shit day. So I suggest to not go on a song stream, which is discussing heavy topics and include transphobic conversion therapy because he has Christian Walker on stream. Christian Walker has to be satire. There's no way he's a real person. He's putting the performance of a lifetime. Looking for negativity? No, these are funny. I'm not like looking for negativity. I think it's funny. I have made, I have a meme that I stole from offline or discord. That has had enough of Christian Walker on a song stream. <laughs> Do you regret that it devolved into a debate of various topics? No, because uh, it's good that we address some of that stuff because I don't know what his like uh, point of view is on a lot of shit. And I don't want it to come across like I'm in agreement with those takes. You know what I mean? Look at this. Look, 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 look. This is why I hate debate lords, okay? This person is just in here for chaos. Like Hassan Vosh Ark. It's fake you goon. It's a debate stream now. Yeehaw. Expand his audience. Why don't you? Is it bad to platform him though? Like, he literally is going on every side of the argument in a matter of seconds. Why the fuck is a conservative on the show, Omega Law? Fuck you, reactionary. Did you bring up the trans people are more likely to be sexually assaulted? This guy's an insufferable prick. Debate bro stuff to Vosh Omega Law. Your take on Candace Owens is actually super racist. Like, literally just like, like hitting every argument, like in, in a row. This is the, this is the whole point of being a debate lord is just like, it's just about like getting one thing to stick doesn't matter there's no actual pov it's just like fuck it like i'm just gonna try to hit you from every angle that term um but he sits in starbucks drive throughs and complains about politics and i think that's about the extent that that goes i believe he's the son of a nfl football player zooming with tiktok's right-wing pundit christian walker wants to be the face of gen z conservatism i'll just say it right now before we keep going gen z conservatives do not like people like christian walker they're all frat boys at colleges those are your gen z concerns I mean, this is true this is the other part of it is that like i feel more comfortable having someone like christian walker on because like ultimately like most of these like conservatives would just like kill him you know what i mean like if they had their way like they would literally kill him matt walsh is like one of those people that would 100 percent like matt walsh would be like oh no the world would be so much better if if he wasn't around like but that's part of the reason why I was like, you know, he'll probably be open-minded and understanding. It is. You really think that they're going to vibe out with the guy who's yelling in a Starbucks drive through about his caramel macchiato? Christian Walker is a No, Matt Walsh can't kill anything. He's, he's a coward and a pussy. I'm saying like, like if people like Matt Walsh were in a position of power. Junior at UCLA and the son of Hall of Fame football player Herschel Walker. And he opened TikTok to find his account with more than 400,000 followers has been suspended. Oh no. So Christian Walker, who's going to college because his dad's a multimillionaire and can afford to send him there, is complaining about how leftists don't actually want to work for their money and don't want to actually grind to get to a, to a higher level to be- Dark light of trans rights don't sell as much as transphobia? Yeah, I, I did it because like- I knew that it was going to be a conversation about transphobia. No, that's right. What I should have done instead is like, <laughs> here, the mind of like, the mind of like every f annoying, uh, uh, like me, me, me person. Okay. Here's what I, here's what I was supposed to do. Okay. Hold on. A transphobic take has approached me in the real world. Okay. In, in, in the real world, someone is saying transphobic things. Hold on, sir. Please exit the room immediately. I must now reach out to my audience to find one trans person to instead decide. First of all, I was, was supposed to be like, trigger warning, transphobic takes are about to happen. And then I was like, please leave the room, sir. I am not going to call a trans person instead of you. Okay. No, like that's not how it works. Shut up. Shut up. But how did you not know they were transphobic? I don't know. I didn't think they were going to like start you know, popping off. You know who doesn't burp like that? Sean Hannity. Go watch him instead. Sean yeah, Hannity never burps on the that mic. That gets you where you want to be. Blah, blah, blah. But he's just sitting in a Starbucks drive through because his job is just yelling into his camera. Let's take a second and talk about the sponsor for this week's video, HelloFresh. Guys, as good as I... 
Damn, okay. From what I've seen from Gen Z conservatives, that they're gonna be that cool with this guy being their leader. These are the kind of people that they yell slurs at, not who they rally around and agree with because they got the caramel macchiato drizzle wrong. Well, I'm a little confused because day one of Pride Month, Starbucks started hanging the rainbow flag. It's July. Where are the American flags? Where are they? You were up. You know what, man? We'll talk to the manager at the drive through window. Oh, uh, yes, we will. Because you were all about visibility and inclusion during Pride Month. Well, I feel included and visible under the American flag. Where's my flag? I think the difference is that we're all... Fire. We're all American. We all live here. We don't need to put up He's the American up really good flag takes. everywhere we go. Because... See, like that stuff is content as fuck okay that's fire that's actually fire you know totally in agreement there like if you didn't touch the transphobia stuff like that shit is, is is bomb totally on board with that okay that's fire that that's hilarious that's also character chatters we're here we're here i we're all visible because we're in america so we'll play the game at the drive-thru and we'll voice our concerns to whatever representative is speaking at the drive-thru window if this is what you want to play i feel included under the american flag guys i feel like i'm not being seen because they won't put up shut 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 up human flag we should have the flag that has a human on it because I, cause I thought this was about visibility and I'm Christian Walker and I need to complain about something. I deserve to be included. I'm a Starbucks customer. Hang the American flag. You. The best part about it is like, he's not even, he's not even like uh, annoying or frustrating retail workers. Like he just does it in his car. You know what I mean? Afterwards. Like he's not even like going up to the retail workers or like going up to the Starbucks workers and like harassing them in person, which like automatically puts them at a higher moral playing field than like 90% of YouTube prank YouTubers. You know what I mean? Where it's like, he just like gets his Starbucks and then starts yelling into his camera in his car, which is, I mean, it's funny. It's literally like the whole point is just like, you know, you know, he isn't, there's a 0% chance he yells at, at anyone that is working at Starbucks. 0% chance. Listen to me and you listen to me clearly. This is like embarrassing. This is... <laughs> This is a new level that I didn't know Christian could, uh, could rise to. Oh my gosh. It's our Independence Day. Put up the American flag. The American flag is for every single American. And I'm not liking how exclusive you are. Yeah, maybe not all of us, even if we like men, identify under that flag. I identify as an American. Where's <laughs> my flag? Finish. Yeah, the whole, like, I don't say the G word. That shit was funny as fuck. Done, done. We'll talk to you at the drive-thru. We will be talking to you at the drive-thru, and you best believe it. Done with you. I thought you were all about diversity, leftists. I thought you were all about inclusion. Well, the American flag is for everyone, and that one's not. Where's the inclusion for everybody else? Even if you claimed for that to be satire, <laughs> it, it goes so far around up Christian's ass that it becomes embarrassing for him to even be joking about that. As, as aggressively as he is. That hurt to watch. Woo! Pride Month is almost over! Yeah! Get rid, dump the rainbow flags and bring in the American flags. It's July 4th, it's time to bring the country back. Imagine being so mad that people want to put up a rainbow flag <laughs> that you make a video in your car screaming about how excited you are for those flags to be taken down. The same people who are all about the First Amendment, freedom of speech. But the moment that you want to put a flag with more than three colors on it in my face, I'm going to have a meltdown in a parking lot. <sighs> I didn't know. I can't see that many colors without having a breakdown. There's too many colors. What is they represent this? too many things. Hey, Hassan, it's me, Chef Leslie G. Shut the fuck up. No, you didn't do that. The Master Chef Season 5, The Silver Fox. Your boy Chippy in the chat tells me that you have a baby's palate, man, and that you like eating Burger King Happy Meals and McDonald's Happy Meals, Chicken McNuggets, hamburgers, hot dogs, oh. uh, what, I guess grilled cheese maybe every once in a while, and uh, something about that you don't like eating uh, sea delicious seafood? Who doesn't like seafood? Are you kidding me, man? Some nice king crab, some Dungeness crab, some linguine and clam sauce, some calamari. 
I mean, come on. And, and Persian food is far superior than Turkish food. What? I mean, at the end of the day, no. give me a, a, a no. nice Persian kebab. D delicious Turkish. stuff, it's man. And a nice food. rice peel off. Oh, forget about it. But Persian food is way superior than Turkish food. But then again, I just want to say thank you very much to the both of you, Hassan and Chippy, for being fans of Master Chef and especially fans of mine. And I hope you guys have a great day. The Silver Fox sent his regards. Wow. Not getting roasted by Walmart Colonel Sanders. He was on Aran's IG Live last night too. Killing it. Invite him on the show. I'll have him. I'll have him on the show right now. Season five was really good. I'm, I'm excited for what season six has to bring. Three colors at once. The rich need to pay their fair share of federal income tax. <laughs> okay, so we're going to watch a rich child make a comment on whether or not rich people should pay a fairer share of their taxes. Let's see what he has to say. The top 10% is paying over 70% of federal income tax, sweetheart. So how about you stop smoking weed on the couch all day and you go get a better job. Stimulus shopper, stimulus check acceptor. I don't care if you're getting a stimulus check. I really don't. People need help. But what you're not going to do is sit here on the couch all day eating food because you're home because of the pandemic. We have another instance of someone making up someone, making up a type of person so they can complain about it. Apparently taking a stimulus check is bad because your place of work refuses to allow you to work and refuses to pay you so you decide to accept money from the government that's not a good thing to do according to christian apparently you're just hoarding the money off the stimulus check which was what like a couple thousand dollars apparently that's enough money to he's literally a rich lib like i know it's a meme that conservatives are libs but he's just a liberal amount i mean yeah he's like like a liberal with like you know more transphobic points than the average liberal would ever uh, like openly assume or uh, or admit i mean that's what conservatives are though conservatives are like like more bigoted liberals that's it if you're thinking if you think about it like what's the difference they're just like more bigoted okay or openly admit their bigotry to live off of and you don't have to work the argument that i really gave his address to this dude rip now what's he gonna do dude he's not gonna kill me what the fuck are you talking about that's the other problem. That's the other part of this is that like, he's not going to like, uh, like it's not, this is not like, I'm not talking to a proud boy. Okay. I'm talking to the son of, uh, Herschel Walker jr. Okay. That's not like, <laughs> what's he going to do? Bring Hassan a caramel macchiato. Yeah, exactly. Taking the stimulus check incentivizes people to be lazier. It's kind of a joke because all that that stimulus check does is maybe no they're not a doctor like i don't no they're not they're not gonna do pay that. off two months of your rent and people who are saying he's one step removed from a proud boy just like like dude you're, you're just like you're the type of person who's like every republican is a fascist okay like like you're i don't know what to tell you like this isn't a defense of him but like he's not he's just like you're crazy <laughs> thank you yo it's cn for the sandwich delivery of the day Rent, and then you're still back where you started because the pandemic lasted for a lot longer than that but hey we're not we're not gonna bring in real logic here today sorry i didn't realize that i was trying to actually argue against this guy who was trying to get outrage clicks so he can make money off of his dad's fame and you know complaining in his car i guess is his job and everyone else is lazy but his job is to be an influencer by complaining in his car no yeah that makes sense no that's cool i love this like nice little picture of him it's his eighth grade photos and then the comments is like critical race theory is a partner in crime with blm it teaches us to place people into groups and judge them based off a factor they cannot control come over we'll order fried chicken and talk about how oh yeah no i don't know imagine complaining this much about the statement that black lives matter this is his whole identity fighting against an organization that says his life matters. As a black conservative, liberal Democrats are a bigger threat to my life than a white supremacist, mainly because liberal Democrats are the white supremacists. If you're calling me a traitor to my race and trying to shut my speech down simply because I don't subscribe to being a victim who needs your help, you are a white supremacist. There's studies that, that prove that white people have a higher privilege over people of color. You can't just look at your own experience as a kid who grew up with a rich dad 
who played in the NFL and then say that you, you know, pulled yourself up by your bootstraps and made it happen because you worked hard enough. Welcome back to BLM is a bunch of BSLM. <laughs> oh, Ben Mora had to make a, had to follow me on, had to follow me on mother Twitch, dude. What is this? This is his best work. It is now a great pleasure to announce the winner of the 1982 Ivan Memorial Trophy from the University of Georgia, Herschel Walker. That was Herschel Walker winning the Heisman Trophy in 1982. He went on to become a superstar in the NFL, playing for the Dallas Cowboys, New York Giants, Philadelphia Eagles, and Minnesota Vikings. Now Walker's 15-year-old son is picking up the family tradition of outstanding athleticism, but it's in competitive cheerleading. Jan Crawford sat down with the father and son duo. Oh, fuck. We should have watched this while Christian was here. God damn it. Say football and cheerleading. God more damn it, dude. Than you might think. Jan is in Washington right now. Good morning to you, Jan. Well, good morning. So, you know, Walker said at first he was kind of like, what? Cheerleading? Uh, but he quickly came around when he saw what the sport is all about. But not everyone has been so supportive. I don't like cheering at a game. And he's no, no, no competitive cheer. And I'm like, what? Like, what is that? Herschel Walker is an NFL legend, but his teenage son, Christian, Yo, that's decided straight last year up that you guys didn't send me this beforehand. This is actually up. Like, I I'm, I'm kind of pissed. How did you not send this to me? How do we have? Ha, ha, that's crazy. I can't believe that this is like. Here that instead of picking up a football. Let's go, Christian. Let's go. He wanted. To By the way, for the record, like cheerleading is very gruesome and very competitive and hard to do so it's just not very conservative you know what i mean fly Let's go. Let's it feels like you're flying but then you land and you just want to do it again and that's what really drew me to cheerleading you never felt like i'm going to disappoint my dad if i don't follow in his footsteps and play football no he's always encouraged me to do what i need to do so that's what i've done at first, Walker was baffled. In Dallas, he played on a team with the most famous cheerleaders in the world. Christian was talking about competitive cheering, something entirely different. I don't know what that was. Then he's, oh no, people turning flips and all this stuff, dance and all this. And uh, I came out to see it. And I saw how athletic the kids were that was doing it. I was shocked, and I was shocked at the amount of people. I was like, geez, I didn't realize it was that big of a sport. And I was proud that he was doing it. And one, two. In recent years, five, six, competitive seven, cheering eight. has exploded in popularity. Last year, the American Medical Association designated it a sport. Hold it, hold it, good y'all, hold it. It takes strength, flexibility, focus, and above all, teamwork. In other words, a lot like football. Damn, dude, Christian got a fucking glow up, by the way. But the Straight NCAA up. so far is refusing to call it a sport, and the stigma about boys in cheerleading persists. In the last three years, three teenage boys have committed suicide after being bullied for cheering. Oh, wait. Jesus Christ, dude. Yo, media, the media is bananas, yo. They're like, dude, when they do, when they do pieces like this, when they do pieces like this, it's like, they have no chill. That's crazy. When everyone first found out about me cheerleading or like my dad's fans, they were really critical. What did they say? Well, just like the derogatory comments about just even my appearance and like, it just seemed like they had a stereotype about cheer, that it was just for females. What was that like for you? It was almost shocking because all my friends are so supportive. That is your son. I mean, wh right. what did you feel when you saw that? Oh, no, I, I, you know, I, I feel angry, but you know, I let it go. <clears throat> because well, like I people said, say that about well, a you kid. Know what's so funny? That, yeah, but, but this was so fun. You have immature people saying that. People that do not have a clue. So I'm not going to put them down. Because if I put them down, I become a bully. It's hard to believe when you see him, but as a child, Walker also was bullied. Yeah, I had a speech impediment. Yeah, I used to stutter so bad I was overweight. That drove him to sports to change himself, and he says gave him freedom to try unconventional things like ballet while tuning out the critics, lessons he's teaching Christian. So my thing is, if they don't understand, if they don't know, let them say what they want to say, but he's got to believe what he believes and what he knows. 
from his mom. His dad is running. Oh, fuck, I forget where he's running for office somewhere. Mom and out. Christian's mother, Cindy Grossman, like Walker, ran track at the University of Georgia, and Christian runs track on his high school team. Did you guys try to encourage him to do football or run track? I never, maybe a little encouragement on the track part, but football in was Georgia? just out of the question. He just oh, U.S. Senate uh, in Georgia. Wasn't interested. No. Do you ever think he will be? No. Come on. Go, 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 go. I watched the way he moved, and even though I was a running back, I said, he can be a heck of a quarterback or a receiver but by watching him do certain things. I watched him throw, and I know he can do that. And I said, man, if I can take him and did do it, but I said, gotta admit that that seems pretty accepting. Herschel Walker, he's accepting of, of Christian Walker wanting to be a cheerleader, but I mean, he's a conservative running for, I guess, running for Warnock's seat, and is like, you know, a good friend to Donald Trump, and actually went on the Republican National Convention and talked about how Donald Trump is like. Not a racist man, that sort of stuff. That's not what he wants. Do you ever feel disappointed? Is there, I mean, do you ever feel like kind of sad no, about that? No, no, I don't because uh, I love him so much that if he never played football, I'm gonna love him as much as I love him now. And Walker says the key is just supporting your child. Uh, he and Christian's mom, they go to all these cheering competitions. And in fact, they were in Orlando this weekend for the summit. That's the junior co-ed national championship. And Christian's team won first place. Wow. Oh, that's Dude, I have such a bad headache. What the fuck? MSM helping Christian Walker calm black people that believe in Republicans care about them. GOP only cares about rich people no matter what color sex. Oh, all right, let's do it. Fucking okay, buddy time. Okay. I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>